Hi everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be making one of the most delicious modern classic cocktails known as the Paper Plane. Now, if you have not had this cocktail after this video, get your ingredients together and make one. I promise you, it is delicious. Now, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the cocktail family that the Paper Plane lives inside of. Then we're gonna make the cocktail and then we're gonna use that cocktail family formula to do our own kind of crazy twist on the paper plane. Now stay tuned to the very end because we're gonna show you how to cost cocktails using the paper plane as our model. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran in the bar and somebody that loves making fun and creative cocktails. Now, when we talk about the cocktail family of the paper plane, I would consider this a very advanced sour. Now, whenever I put a cocktail into the sour family, the reason I'm doing that is we are using citrus juice of some form to balance out the sweetness in the cocktail. Now within a sour family, you have many different subfamilies that exist inside of there. The daisy happens to be one of them and the most popular daisy that you probably have had and heard of is the margarita. So when we take a look at the structure of the daisy, we have a base spirit, we have a liqueur, a sweet liqueur, and then we have acid, lime juice in the case of the margarita. Now with this particular cocktail, it is a very advanced daisy. So instead of the base spirit, we're gonna split that in half. So now we have base spirit, a sweet liqueur, another sweet liqueur, and acid that's gonna balance out the two sweet liqueurs. And if I had to put a name on this, I would call it an equal part sour. Now, when we look at that formulation or that kind of blueprint, think about the most famous cocktail that has that blueprint, and it's the last word. Now, if all this sounds really complicated, don't worry. The best way to show you how all this stuff works out is to make one. So why don't we go ahead and make the paper plate? To make the paper plane, we're gonna go ahead and build the cocktail right inside of our cheater tin. Now the recipe for the paper plane is actually quite easy since it is an equal part sour. So we're just gonna go ahead and start off with our main base spirit here. Not that one, but Elijah Craig. This is gonna be our whiskey that we're gonna do here. Then we're gonna add our Aperol, followed by Amaro Nonino. And finally, the acid. So the acid that we're going to be using is going to be lemon juice. And one of my favorite things about our juicer is this. This is kind of the secret move that nobody knows about, but once you see it, you're like, oh my God, that's so cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and juice this lemon and fine strain it at the same time. Now the only thing left to do is put some ice in this and give it a good shake. Now, traditionally, this cocktail doesn't have a garnish, but you can make those cute little tiny paper planes. That's what we see a lot. But I really like this with a simple orange twist. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a quick peel. Add the oils right across the top. Add that right to the side. And there we have it, the paper plane. And now it is time for us to go ahead and taste the paper plane. Cheers. I absolutely love this cocktail. It's bright, citrusy. That Amaro Nonino kind of comes in underneath and has that kind of caramel and toffee notes. You get some of the bitterness from the Aperol in there as well. It is a delicious, stunning cocktail. So now let's go ahead and make our variation on the paper plane. And we're gonna use that equal part formula that we started with. So we're gonna go ahead and build everything just as before in our cheater tin here. So we're gonna go ahead and switch things up and use a really nice rum as our base spirit. And then our acid is going to be our lemon juice. 
And once again, we're gonna go ahead and ice this down and serve it in our cook. And for the garnish, we're gonna do the same simple orange twist. There we have it. Our take on the paper plane. Cheers. So now let's go ahead and try our variation on the paper plane. Cheers. That is very different, in a good way. So the Campari is very grapefruit forward and you got this nice bitterness on the top note. The rum comes up underneath it, adds that nice molasses touch to it, but it is a little bit more dry and the bitterness really does shine through here. It's really good, but it's very different from our original paper plane. Now, just to kind of compare them, the paper plane was light, it was bright. That Aperol doesn't have that kind of bitterness that Campari has. And it just is a little bit more kind of like tight on the flavors in a really refreshing way. This creation really flexed and really challenged that cocktail family formula and structure. And it still stayed with the identity of the paper plane, just with more extreme flavors. So that grapefruit, that molasses note, kind of pulls this cocktail in a couple different directions but it is still a really good variation on the paper plane. There we have it. We have made the paper plane. We've talked about the cocktail family that the paper plane lives inside of, that equal parts sour. And then we've used that formula to come up with our own really delicious variation. Now, if you've noticed, we've been using some really cool barware throughout this entire video. This is a series that we just launched in our black line, but we have a lot of other colors as well. So head on over to shop.abarabove.com and you can take a look at all the different colors we offer all of which are dishwasher safe. Now we know you've watched videos like this in the past. You know exactly what we're gonna ask you to do. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you will get notified anytime we release cocktail videos similar to this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite version of the paper plane. That's right, I grabbed the original because it's really hard to beat. Cheers.